This is Dr. Caroline Peterson and Natural Women's Health Institute in Sarasota, Florida. I'm gonna show you how to do a self-massage for a retroverted uterus. A retroverted uterus, what's that? <laughs> so the normal position of a uterus, the normal anatomical position of a uterus is slight anaflexion. So let's say my body is a uterus. We got the pubic bone out here. That's the bone that's in the front of your pelvis. We got the bladder above there and then the uterus should be in slight anaflexion over that. The fallopian tubes, my arms should be going back. And so that in our way of thinking, the anatomical normal position is the position that the body functions best in. And so we want to get the uterus back into that position. Now in biomedicine, they say that all the positions of the uterus are normal variants, um, except if she's falling out of your body. So that's a problem if the uterus is falling out of your body. But for us, it's also a problem if your uterus is like bent off to the side or bent back, is bent, is tilted back. That, so tilted back is a retroverted uterus, right? And so today I'm gonna show you how to do self-care for the retroverted uterus. Why? Because the uterus, it's not like you're gonna move her and then nail her in place. That's not how it happens. It takes about six months for the uterine ligaments to shorten up so they can stabilize her in the proper position. And so during that time, you're gonna have to be caring for your uterus and helping her come into that kind of normative, slight anaflexion. Why is it important not to be retroflexed or retroverted? Um, you don't want to be bent backwards at a tilt or at a, you know, at an angle. Those things are not good. Why? Because what's behind the uterus? It's the rectum. So you're going to, the uterus smashes down on the rectum. And what else is back there? It's all of the, it's all of the veins that drain the pelvis are coming out from behind the uterus. So if the uterus is bent back, tilted or or, or you know, bent, then, then um, you're not gonna have as good drainage out of, the, out of the pelvis, that's not good. Also got the lymphatic vessels, so basically we just want things to be optimized, right? And so that's why it's important in natural medicine to help the organs come into a more idyllic position and function. Um, so now, I'm gonna show you laying down how you're gonna do the belly massage, belly rub, for that retroverted uterus. All right, so you're gonna lay on your back. You're gonna, you're gonna find that bone that I was talking about, the pubic bone. So you can feel down, that's soft, that's soft. Oh, there's hard, that's the bone. Now I'm just gonna put a piece of painter's tape there so that you can kind of have it for a reference point because it is hard to find your pubic bone sometimes. So there it is. You don't have to do it on yourself. I'm just showing you for the, for the video. Alrighty, so there it is. And now remember that your uterus is only about two inches wide and only about two inches high above the pubic bone. And so we don't wanna be pushing down on her because she's already going back too far. So what we wanna do is kind of lift her up. So you're gonna come by either side of her. You're kind of gonna scoop behind her and lift towards the ceiling and then towards your, towards your head. And you're gonna come the sides, you're gonna lift towards the ceiling and towards your head. You're gonna lift, you're scooping, you're lifting towards the ceiling and towards your head. Now, honestly, it's way easier if, if you don't do it through your clothes. You can do it on your skin, you can use oil or lotion or just plain old on your skin, whatever you want. And so it, the basic idea is that you're scooping, you're lifting, and you're pulling towards your head. You're gonna do 30 reps if you can, right? Because um, that's gonna help get that circulation going behind her and it's gonna help her remember. You can also gently put your hands here because sometimes she'll be like, I don't want you to massage me today. Just, just put your hands on me. So, so this is really about listening to your body, listening into your uterus hearing what she needs and giving that to her.